Hello and welcome to the fourth edition of the Electric Ireland Energy Market Overview. My name is Raymond Buchan. In this video, I'll review what has happened in the energy market since the start of Q2 of this year, as well as look ahead to what the remainder of the summer has in store for us. European gas prices have seen a sustained rise since early March as higher than normal heating demand, combined with an uptick in gas for power demand, most notably in April, kept market conditions tighter than expected well into Q2. This higher heating demand was due to colder weather and also meant that at a time when injections into storage sites are the norm, we saw further drawdowns from stocks. This depletion of European storage, currently just under 30% full, is perhaps now the primary driver for prices going forward through the remainder of the summer, as injections will have to ramp up significantly if we are to see comfortable volumes in place ahead of the coming winter. It is worth noting that this time last year we saw storage at 60% of their capacity and 50% in 2019. In Asia we see renewed buying interest with lockdowns easing and the industrial sector growing back towards pre-pandemic levels. Demand for LNG has also grown in parts due to government policies with energy policies shifting away from coal burn in some parts. Looking ahead to what we can expect this summer, we see prices being supported from the high demand for storage injections as well as the need to remain competitive with Asian markets. We continue to monitor weather situations to see signs of any lasting heat which may drive up demand further, as well as storms which may impact on shipping or exporting. We are keenly monitoring maintenance schedules for any alterations and for any pipeline capacity bookings into Europe that may occur. The Nord Stream 2 pipeline project, a pipeline from Russia through the Baltic Sea and arriving into northern Germany, also comes into focus as the waiving of sanctions by the Biden administration opens the door for a renewed push to complete the project by this winter. This meaning increased volumes of Russian gas may enter European markets by this coming winter. Carbon prices have continued to rise these past months, with consecutive all-time high prices being reached in April and May, with the all-time high of 56.90 euro per tonne being reached in mid-May. Since this peak was reached, we have seen increased volatility in the market, although traded volumes have remained high. The UK allowance scheme was also introduced in mid-May, and we will touch on that also. So there are several factors for this EUA price rise, which we'll, we will briefly mention. Firstly, high thermal power plant running amid low temperatures and low renewable generation across Europe added bullishness to the market and increased EUA demand. Second, EU lawmakers have legislated a net 55% emission reduction in the bloc by 2030. This also occurred at a time when the, the compliance deadline was looming, which resulted in a squeeze in the market. Third, the EUA market has seen an increased number of financial investment firms taking long positions in the market, possibly with a view that due to the policy-driven nature of the EUA market, that prices would continue upward. And finally, the COVID-19 vaccine rollout, combined with an uptick in European industrial output, as well as the various government stimulus packages, has installed confidence of an economic recovery that has reverberated in the carbon markets. On the 20th of May, also saw the introduction of the UK Carbon Allowance Scheme. At the time of recording, there has only been two auctions to speak of, both of which cleared at a premium to their European counterparts. The market itself is still not particularly liquid, and it is thought that there will be several auctions gain before it gains traction. In terms of outlook for the market, it looks as though there will be further volatility going forward. The current tightness of the gas market will likely keep EUA prices elevated and the policies of the various governments that are pursuing emissions cuts means there will likely be a bullish sentiment in the market. It is also noted that the difference between the spot price and the outturning auction prices is relatively small the sign of a healthy market. Even if some technical analysis are pointing to an overbought market due to the number of investment firms now involved. 
Numerous legislative reviews relating to emissions will occur this summer and early winter, and these will need to be watched to see what, if any, impact they will have on the carbon market. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you found this briefing beneficial. Here at Electric Ireland, we provide weekly market reports, which you can sign up for by emailing energyreports at electricisland.ie. Thank you.